they are very much specializing in their particular function. And that's uh, one of the things that makes them best in class. Um, from, from a business perspective, uh, one of the unique things about mock is that is the headless nature of that architecture. So uh, when I when I say headless, what I'm what I mean is that that presentation layer or that user experience is uh, now separated from all those back end systems. So a retailer or a marketer now has their their uh, business capabilities surfaced up into that layer. And they can use tool sets to essentially uh, self service changes to their to content promotions and other things that maybe they need to run uh, in that experience. And, and this decoupling also alleviates them from a lot of dependencies on the IT developer. So, uh, you know, a very famous example is, uh, the very traditional black Friday season where, uh, you know, maybe a retailer needs to respond to a competitive uh, campaign. You don't have time to go spin up a project and wait for developers to run a bunch of code. You want to be able to make those changes yourself. And that's what uh, a mock architecture enables. Uh, IT teams like it for the converse reason, right? They don't have to be nagged by the business and put under pressure to deliver something. But I think more important, they they look at a, a lot of benefits from an infrastructure perspective. They don't have to stand up servers, run infrastructure, worry about scaling because the mock uh, is in the cloud and handles all that for them. Um, I, I think even customers have a benefit here as well because um, the mock enables the business to create uh, a more connected and personal experience for them than maybe what they would have had otherwise.